Hey, Maria, how are you, girl? Hey, you're back home. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, you're at your house right now, right? Yeah, yeah. it feels good, right? Be at home. Yay. Yeah, but today I have a night shift. <laughs> oh, really? So yeah. what time you're supposed to um, arrive back to work? At what time? 11 p.m. 11. Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is somebody going to go to your house and pick you up? Or you're going to drive? No. Uh, I have a transport taxi. You have a transportation? Yeah, well, okay. the part of my job. Ah, okay. So it's better from your from your job. Okay. Yeah. So they will pick you up at eleven. Yes. <laughs> oh, from eleven to uh, what time? At uh, seven a.m. Eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But which uh, shift you you prefer, a uh, day shift or night shift? Um, I prefer night shift. Night shift. Why? Why you prefer night shift? Uh, because I can just I can sleep in, in on days. Uh huh. You can do a lot of things, right? Yeah, you have to I go to the bank. Time. Yeah, go to the supermarket or spend time with your family. Yeah. Exactly. I know. But tell me something. The first time that you start your night shift, uh, I don't know if you fall asleep. Like, you no. Know? Yeah, <laughs> you see, I knew it, I knew it, because it's really hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> but now I think you're already used to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Eduardo and Anita, we're talking right now with um, with Maria about her shift. She said that sometimes she has a night shift and sometimes she has a more a day shift. So right now it will be a a night shift. She will start working at 11 p.m. It ended up at 7 a.m., eight hours. Can you imagine? Ugh, that's tough. But she said that the first time she falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she already got used to it. And now it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's good for her. She prefers more a uh, night shift than day shift. What about you, Eduardo? Do you prefer my morning shift? or night shift no i prefer the morning shift because i never work in the night shift you need <laughs> never. to get used yeah yes. i think i think so yeah i think maria already got used to it because there are some weeks that she um works during the day and there are some weeks that you work at night right maria yeah so it is it's for free kind of job is that yeah. correct yeah. Oh, like Helen also, right? Helen has the same uh, shift, yes. right? Um, yeah. My 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 first uh, night shift is when with Helen. <laughs> with Helen now, and you were like talking to each other, right? <laughs> that was yeah. nice. Hopefully, uh, she can she can enjoy today's class because it's going to be our last class. It's going to be so much fun, you know. Really, really fun that you cannot imagine. Yeah. So Eduardo said, no way. I never get used to work at nights, only during the days. But you know what? Eduardo, uh, Helen said that she prefers night shift because during the day she can do a lot of things. For example, yeah, I go to the bank, go to the supermarket, spend time with her, her family, or oh, basically sleep. Right? So there's a there's advantage and disadvantages, right? Depends on that. Depends on our own circumstances as well, right? And our own responsibilities as well. Mm -hmm. Imagine doctors that they are twenty four seven. <laughs> yeah, and they and some of them, most of them, they already have family, like kids, uh, wife, uh, husband. So I'm telling you that because I have a, my closest friend, and uh, he's twenty four seven. <laughs> So, yeah, he said good night. Sometimes he sent me a message to the messenger around 11 and 30 p.m. <laughs> hey, guy, what are you doing? Like, okay, I'm trying to fall asleep. What about you? <laughs> yeah, so that depends, right? But I do. I I have never had a night shift. I have a um, 
a really early morning shift. I remember that um, when I started um, my call center experience, <laughs> uh, I used to work uh, at 4 a.m. in the morning. So um, the transportation, my other Carmen picked me up around 1.30 a.m. Can you imagine? And because of my uh, studies and other responsibilities that I do have, I was single by then, but it, even though I had already responsibilities, sometimes I have to go to sleep around 10.30 p.m. So can you imagine? I only sleep like two or almost three hours, no more than that. So what I decided like, okay, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna dress up. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will wake up at one. I will wash my face and then I will be ready for, for the guy who picked me up at 1.30. Can you imagine? It, because I, I was the first one to pick me up. Then we go to like, you know, we went to where? Los Planes de Renderos. We went to San Jacinto. And finally, at 3.30 in the morning, I was in the cafeteria eating my breakfast. And at 4, I was in front of the computer ready to take calls. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, yes. But you know what? That was really stressful. It's really stressful, even though you was single, Oof, because I, I could only have that shift for around one year. Because it was really, really stressful. And for my sign up, mm -mm, no way. So no, I prefer day shift, definitely. <laughs> and you know what, I'm getting older. So I, I think um, I cannot like go to sleep uh, really, really late. I can't because if I go to sleep in the morning, I don't want to wake up and I'm like <sighs> sleepy the whole day. Yes. You'll see right Carlitos when we're getting a little bit older, like more than thirties and something like that. Right. Yeah. We don't have the same energy as we were like you guys that you're still junk. Right. Eduardo is still junk. Maria del Carmen as well. Patty, Mr. Ronald Lumberto, Naftali. Anita, yes, I'm getting older, but no, you guys. Yes, I am, Eduardo, I am, I'm older than you. You don't Car seem like that. <laughs> Carlitos, he doesn't believe me. <gasps> no. Well, no, I, no, really? Yeah, really not. <laughs> okay, it's because you know why, Eduardo, I put like some <laughs> cosmetic secrets, right? Oh. So like, <laughs> I look like fresh. <laughs> well, I don't have wrinkles. Wrinkles, you know what wrinkles are? Wrinkles? Wrinkles? I don't have it. <laughs> yes. And I'm white skin. So I need to take care of myself a lot. A lot. Okay, Umberto, let's stop talking about skin and everything and schedules and everything. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something, guys. Um, have you ever think about moving to another country? Have you ever think that that is, could be a possibility? I don't know. No? Or yes? Or if you come from another country, do you, have you ever moved from another, a different country? Are you from a different country or are you, are you Salvadorians? I, 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 I got the opportunity to teach really? another, another ah, country. Ah, to travel, okay. But I, 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 I went, sorry, we visited um, a malls, but uh, I saw a, a, a cine, 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 I don't know, cine. You know, a theater? Movie theater? Theater, yes. Uh -huh. yes okay, okay. So we visited a cine, but just to so no, we can have the opportunity oh, to, okay. to, to enter. Hey, guys. But and besides Carlitos, anybody had the opportunity to like travel to a different country for vacation or just for working? Anybody? Humberto? Well, in, uh, well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes. <laughs> well, in my case, uh, I used to travel to, uh -huh. to, to Cuba, for example. Oh, I love that place. Okay. Yeah. It was a, a good experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, however, how, however, 
uh, these years is it was so complicated to travel to other country. Why? For for coronavirus. Oh yes, yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Nowadays, yes, but imagine that we don't have a coronavirus. Ah, okay. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> it's hypothetically right now, right? Because we don't know yeah. when it's going to be stopped. But imagine that. Yeah, but it was a good experience to travel to another country. It was a good experience. In order to, okay. to know uh -huh. different people. To uh, meet new people. Happy, uh, to, know, to know a beautiful landscapes, for, for example. And, okay, I and thought you would say something else. <laughs> not gay. <laughs> And the food, yeah. Yeah, the food. Okay, but you know what, Carlitos and Umberto, that was like for such a period of time, right? For vacation or because you have to do it for work. But imagine, guys, that you have to move to an, a different foreign country and you got to move it. Mm. And you got to start from zero. So... That would be totally different, right? Because there's a lot of things that we need to think prior to take that decision. Sometimes it will yeah. be a, a, a um, easy decision. Sometimes it's not. So for example, depends. the American dream. Uh-huh, for example. So let, hmm. let's think about something, guys. Uh, I want your opinion about something because today we're going to develop the speaking skill, definitely. Um, I just want to know, guys, what do you think about about moving to a foreign country and what do you think that will be people's concern about moving to a different country? People's concern, that means uh, when people is worried about something, what do you think? Imagine that you are moving, that you're not going to live in El Salvador anymore. First of all, uh, let me ask you, would, uh, which country would you like to move? If they give you an opportunity to move, which country? Canada, for example. Canada. Okay, are you going to go alone? You're going to go with somebody else abroad? Well, uh, uh -huh. with my family, with, it will be a, a, a good option for, for us. Uh -huh. Because Canada has a, a lot of uh, advantage. advantages. Advantages. So it's a good place to live. Mm-hmm. And, but there's a lot of that is is let me tell you let me ask you something, moving to a current foreign country, you think that is a an easy decision to make? Is it easy or is not easy? It's not easy. Teacher. It's not easy. Why is not easy? What, uh, what? For example, in their case, <coughs> uh, Carlitos, if they said, you know what, Carlitos, you're gonna be an IT, but we need you here. Um, Let's do a, play, a place that is nearby, okay? I don't, I'm not going to send you to China, no way. <laughs> but pretend that I'm going to send it to you to Costa Rica, okay? That is nearby. So we need to, that you decide. You have uh, three months to think about it, talk with your family and friends, and decide if you're going to take this job or not. Because we want you to continue working with us, but we need you there with your entire um, family. I, I think teacher is very difficult because mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, Mm -hmm. The company closed some operation in Costa Rica oh, and okay. Mexico. Oh. And some people moved from Mexico and Costa Rica to El Salvador. El Salvador, okay. Yes, uh -huh. but uh, I, I know this person, but mm -hmm. for the first month, was very difficult to, to get the custom for El Salvador and uh, the family. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I think it's, they they need a, a several support from people in El Salvador to, for the transition. Yes, that's, that's very, that very is really, really good uh, what you are uh, said, Carlitos, because that is, that is easy, basically. There's a lot of things involved, right? It's not as easy as, as it looks like. Or So let me give you something, guys. I'm going to share something right now with you. Is basically a list about people's concern when they move from a different country. In this case, like example that you're giving, Carlitos, from people from from um, Mexico, right, and for another country, they move, 
to El Salvador. So what do you think, Carlitos? It, it, there was a challenge for them? Was it a challenge? Yes, yes. Yes, it's right. Exactly. Yeah. Because of what you said, uh, there will be like a cultural shock. What do you think, guys? It might be a cultural shock or not. Okay, I'm sending it to you right now. Did you receive it? Yeah, you did? Yeah or no? Yes, right? I think you did receive it. Yes. Okay, cool. So what I sent it to you right now, guys, basically, it is a list of what people concerns will be if they move to a different country. So guys, we have, let me check how many we have here. I want you to read it carefully right now for yourself. And after you have read that, uh, I just want you guys to reach or rate each concern from one that will be that not worry at all to five that you really worry about. Okay, and after that, I wanna know what will be your biggest concern and why. You're, okay? <laughs> this is really interesting, right? Yeah, okay. Read it carefully, okay? We'll give you one minute to read all the sentences and all the opinions. And then you need to put number one, it's not going to be anything, any worry for you. And number five is going to be the highest worry for you, okay? I will give you time. Take your time to read it, no rush. Finish? Okay. Patty, I want to hear your beautiful voice. Hopefully you are much better above your throat, okay? Okay, guys. For example, Patty, I want to know from the list that I sent it to you right now, what will be number one for you? That you're not going to worry about that. That you don't care about that if you move to a different country. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand the exercise teacher. Oh, okay. That's what I asked you because I saw a big question mark here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. I sent the information to the chat, right? To the WhatsApp. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So this information, basically, they are like people's concerns. You know what concern are? No. Is, no? Hey, guys, no. what is concern? Can somebody explain to uh, Patty? I'm worried about something. Mm -hmm. Working okay. Worry, worry about worry. something that you are afraid. Worry. Yeah, that you mm -hmm. worry about something. So very good. Thank you, Carlitos. So there are like people uh, expressing their concerns or their worries if they move to a different country. Okay. Those are like expressions or ideas from different people. Okay. So I want you to rate. You know what rate is? No, Classific calificar, is that correct? Yes, calificar. Yeah, like rate. Ranking. Exactly. From one to five. Mm -hmm. One will be the less important for you, for you, right? Of your circumstances. Okay. And five will be the most important for you that you're going to feel worried about if you move to a different country. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I will give you time. I will give you time. Read it. Think about it, and then I will come back with you, okay? Take your time, no okay. rush. Okay. Okay, Eduardo, let me listen to you. Okay. First one is the less that 
is important for me. Okay, really? yes. Yes, the first one is the less important, yes. I think it's miss the way my mom is cooking. <laughs> really? Why? Because I can eat every kind of, of food. Okay, that's good. And I don't remember how my mom's food because... Okay, <laughs> okay. that was a long time so, ago. Okay, very good. What about number ago. two? What is number two? Number two could be... Uh, I have, but I lost the number two. You had the number two, lost the number two, come on. Okay, something I will be nervous about is communicating a new language. That will be number two. So that will be number five or number two. No, the number two is the most important thing. No, the number five the is the less. most important. Okay. Number four, so in that case, yes. Okay, number four, give us number four, yeah. Not knowing the prices of things is something that I would. Aha, uh -huh. why will concern you, why? I think that I I have the, no, I think I find the way to know the price in whatever country. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, it's it's important for me not waste yes, so much it, money. It you know? is right. You need to know the equivalent, right, from a dollar to another place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can check if you are spending yeah, yeah. more money than you used to, right? Uh huh. What about number five? What is the thing that is going to be or make you worry about yes. a lot? What is number five for you? Okay, number five for me is. Is uh, the way that my room uh, uh, number five? You're going to miss your room. Country. Really? Why? Yes, but <laughs> in in that case, I think I see my room like my home, my, also everything ah. that I is concerned about okay. the home. Ah, oh, okay. So, everything related to your house, where you're going to live. House. Uh huh. Yes, because besides the room that. By the way, which is very important for me, but everything, the place that I going, I'm going to live or I will live is very important. For okay, me. that's good. Excellent. That is Eduardo's opinion. Very good, Eduardo. Is anybody has the same opinion as Eduardo or you have something else? Wendy, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, for me, the number one is getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. Ah, okay. But number one, Wendy, will be the less important for you, that you don't care. Yes, the less. The less important for the, you? Is, yes. what is, that is less important for you. Okay. What about will yes, be number is. five for you? Uh, moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge because Why? I always, I, I don't know. It's maybe for I always be frozen with <laughs> the climate. Really? <laughs> yes. So Canada is not gonna be a good action for you, right? <laughs> Humberto. No, that <laughs> you need like a tropical weather country, like for example, uh, Mexico. No, but, but I love the the frost. The, you you the love the cold, cold weather. Okay, yes. so but, there's a solution, right? Yes, maybe it's the solution the tropical weather. Yeah, no, or maybe you're gonna wear like a sweater, scarf, hat, hot chocolate. And everything's going to be right. <laughs> very mm -hmm. good. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, okay. What about you, Karen? Oh, Karen, you look so nice and beautiful today. Hello, Karen. What about you? Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, let me see. The last one. Uh -huh. uh, I'll be worried about the local food. Mm -hmm. I might not, not like it. Sorry, I might not like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might not like it. For example, let's pretend, guys, that you're going to move to Thailand. 
Thailand, they used to cook with a lot of spices and a spicy food that you cannot imagine. Whew. I think it's more yeah. than Mexican, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. And I don't like uh, a, a spicy food. Oh, that's why. And you can get sick, right? Maybe. Yeah. That is, so that would be your biggest concern, Karen? No, the less. Uh, the, no, the less. What is but the biggest the concern? Who? Okay. Uh, and let me see. I'll be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. You know what? That is really important. Hey, guys, yeah. let, me, let me let you a story <laughs> that happened to my mom. <laughs> All right. Mom, here, guys, in El Salvador, for example, if you feel bad, and you know the names of the pills that you take and everything depends on your disease, right? You can just go to a drugstore and ask for the medication that you need, right? Like, for example, acetaminophen, right? Or aspirin or uh, syrup, a cough, cough, et cetera, et cetera, without prescription, right? But you know what? In Costa Rica, you cannot do that. You cannot go to the drugstore and ask for acetaminophen. You cannot because they're not going to give it to you. You must go to the doctor first. We'll give you a prescription and then you're able to go. Can you imagine that? So what Karen said, it is really, really important. And as well, guys, you need to know the name of the pills because sometimes we have a name here, but in different country, it's called a different way. Can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that is true, Karen. Um, for example, candies, the word candies in Spanish dulces, right? Here is the little thing that you eat, right? The sweet thing. And the pills are pastillas, right? Okay, in Panama, pastillas are the name that you use for dulces and the name that you use for pastillas. <laughs> so, Both. yeah, so can you imagine that? It depends on the circumstances. If you say, I, I need pastillas. Really? So you don't know if you need pastillas because you're feeling sick or because you need something sweet. So can you imagine also uh, what uh, Eduardo said, the way of communicating your ideas, your feelings, is going to be a challenge as well. Because you yeah. can say one thing or you can say another thing. <laughs> what about you, Patti? Tell us. Now it's time for you to speak. What about you? What will be your biggest concern? Okay, teacher. Um, in my case, the first is that I'd be worried about getting sick and oh. not okay. knowing how to find a good doctor. Mm -hmm. um, because I, um, I get sick very frequently. Oh, frequently, okay. I I am have no. I have asthma. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I need uh, my medication uh, every day. Yes, definitely. It's something that you need to do it, right? Yes. Yes. And so that will be your biggest concern. Yes, of course. And what will be the less concern? Mm. That you don't care if you move to another country. You don't care about that. The, no entendí esa parte. Uh, the less concern, lo que menos te, inter te importa si te mueves a otro país. Ah, ok, ok. Mm. One thing I really miss my mom's cooking. Igual que Eduardo. Why? <laughs> Come on. Mm. Um, well, in my mm, case, I miss tortillas, you know? Eight, <laughs> I miss tortillas and eight. I miss pupusas. <laughs> I miss them a lot. <laughs> No, it's important. No. For me, yes. It is. <laughs> but, but for you, no. Okay, of course. No. We yeah. have pupusas in every country. But it's yeah. not the same. In the book, it never be the same because of the ingredients. No. Yeah. I miss them. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Oh. 
And I miss the cheese, you know, here in El Salvador, we do have a lot of type of cheese. Some really interesting name of cheese, right? Duro Blandito, for example, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is the other one? Um, Quesillo, right? Uh, Requezon, mm -hmm. right? What else? Um, what? Morolique, Morolique, yeah. What is the one that says that smells like a, like a not clean fit? Duro Viejo. Yeah, thank you, buddy. You know what? <laughs> Duro Viejo with, with beans. Oh my God, that's amazing. Uh -huh. That's amazing, guys. Well, I love it. I don't like the smell, but I love the taste. <laughs> but can you imagine, for example, in there in Costa Rica, I know, I'll tell you about Costa Rica, guys, because my sister lives there, so I know a lot of things about that place. I cannot find the variety of cheese that I, that I can eat here. I can't. They do not produce local cheese. They have like uh, foreign cheese, like blue cheese, for example, right, etc. So there, there are things that I miss. And also the chocolate, the hot chocolate. Woo. There they drink cocoa, but not hot chocolate, which is totally different. So I miss those things. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna send you something, guys, that it will help you increase your vocabulary because basically those words that I will send it to you are adjectives to describe people's feelings when they move to a different country. It could be positive feelings or it could be negative feelings. So those adjectives will help you to describe people's emotions, okay? That's what I'm gonna send it to you right now. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. I send it to you. Hey, you receive it? Yep. Yes. There are some, some of them that it will help you to describe what you feel or how will you feel if you move to a different country. For example, um, those words are used to describe how people sometimes feel, guys, when they live in a foreign country. It could be positive or it could be negative. For example, the first one, let's, re let's repeat, repeat after me, anxious. 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 What do you think, guys? Is this a positive or a negative feeling? What do you think? Negative. Positive. Negative. Depends, right? Depends. It could be either or. Mm -hmm. What about comfortable? Comfortable. Positive. 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 Hey, what is comfortable? What does it mean in Spanish? It's what? Comodo. Comodo, right? And anxious? Ansioso. Ansioso. Yeah, very good. Confident. Confiado. Confiado. Very good. Excellent. That is positive or negative? Positive. 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 Curious. Positive. What, what does it mean, curious? Curioso. 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 Very good. Embarrass. Embarrass. No, no digan que es pregnant, porque no. Pregnant es otra cosa. Embarrass no es embarazado, right? No. Embarrass means apenado? avergonzado. Yes. Apenado. Yes. Just see. Se lo, se lo acabo de aclarar just in case, right? <laughs> okay. Very good. Enthusiastic. Positive. 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 Excited? Positive. Excited. Mm -hmm. Excitado, ¿verdad? Pero decir emocionado. Very good. Fascinated. Fascinated. Fascinado. Yeah. Homesick? Homesick. Homesick. Enfermo, pero es negativo. Pero es como que you miss your home, right? Homesick. Yeah? Como nostalgia. Yeah. Exactly. Insecure. 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 Inseguro, Negative. right. Nervous. 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 What does it mean? Nervioso, right? Nervioso. Okay. Sorry. Uncertain. Uncertain. Negative. Negative. ¿Qué significa? Negative. What does it mean, guys? Como incertidumbre. Yes. In, no, incertidumbre. Yeah. Incertidumbre. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Negative. 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 Mm -hmm. negative, and negative. worry? Oh. Negative. negative. And what does it mean, worry? Preocupado. Preocupado, yes. Okay, let's repeat, guys, because I want you not only to know the meaning in Spanish, but I want you also to practice a pronunciation because it's really, really important that you know that. Okay, repeat after me. Anxious. 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 Comfortable. 
I don't hear you. Aha. Carlitos, Excellent. either. I, I want to hear you as well. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carlitos. Okay. Confident. 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 Curious. Curious. Depressed. 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 Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Excited. 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 Fascinated. Fascinated. Homesick. Homesick. Insecure. Insecure. Very good. Nervous. Nervous. Uncertain. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Worried. Worried. Okay, guys. So you have a positive or negative um, adjectives to describe people's emotions when you move to a different country. Tell me, pick three of them that you will feel if you move to a different country. For example, Mr. Umberto, how will you feel if you move to a different country? How you I describe feel, it? Mm -hmm. I feel a little wor worried. Worry, okay. Related with the language, for example. Okay. What else? Any other two? Um, also nervous. Nervous? Because why? Because I I think that is a, a little bit anxious living with other people. Uh huh. So you already use the three of them. Very good. Anxious. Very good. Excellent. Okay. I say so that. You, yes. You say that. You see. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. All right. What about you, Anita? What do you think? What? How would you feel if you moved to a different country? Uh, in my case, I never I, I travel. No, I know, but imagine, imagine that if okay. you say, Anita, uh, um, on one month you're going to go to Guatemala, for example. How would you feel? Um, nervous. Nervous, okay. Um, excited. Excited, okay. Mm. Uh, One more? Worried. Worried, okay, very good. Thank you, Anita. Neftali, what about you? My favorite, I have a lot of favorite countries. Okay, um, but give me an example, one of them. I like to travel to Panama. Panama, okay. So if you if they give you the opportunity to travel to Panama, how you will feel? Because in my opinion, I feel excited. Excited, okay. What else? Um, I, would, I would feel more... Relaxing. Relax. Okay. There's another one. Yes. And one more. Comfortable. Comfortable. And maybe enthusiastic, right? Yes, enthusiastic. Very good. Thank you, Neftali. What about you, Helen Mercedes? Hello. Hello. Uh, about moving to another country? Yeah. I'll be... I'll uh, be nervous. Okay. And excited. Mm -hmm. And excited. Yes, yes, right? It's like contrast feelings, right, guys? It's a contrast yes. feeling. A lot of feelings. A lot, a lot of emotions involved, I can say, right? What about yeah. you, Abela? For example, in your uh, job, they said, hey, you know what? Okay. I'm not, we're not I, going to move you to Costa Rica. We're going to move you to Germany. Uh, I feel fascinated, fascinated for, okay. no, for no new place, new uh -huh. country. Okay. Uh, I'm curious for, okay. for exploring new places. New places, okay. Uh, yes. Um, a little an anxious. Anxious. About what? Anxious. Uh, mm. For is um, other other country uh -huh. um, in other kind of people. 
Okay, very in good. Other uh, foods, in, I, I like to know uh -huh. other countries. Oh, okay. So you are ready to move on, okay? Okay, very good. Mm. Now, guys, think about something. I'm going to send you um, a lot of questions right now. And I want you guys to use those questions. So talk between each other, okay? I'm going to make groups right now. Um, I will send it to you right now, the questions. Okay, these questions are related to move to a different countries. Okay, so which questions I want you to think about or I want you to discuss as a group? Well, what country would you like to live in and why? What country wouldn't you like to live and why? That would be the opposite way. Who is the person you would, you would most like to go abroad with? That, that means, Teacher. yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, that, that is my question. What, what means abroad? With Abroad, that means to travel to a different country. That is the word abroad. Ah, okay. Exterior. Yeah? Okay. O fuera de la frontera. Abroad. Abroad. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. What is something you will never travel without? Algo con que tú nunca... No puedes dejar si viajas. Algo que siempre tiene que estar contigo. Who is the person you would email first after arriving somewhere new? Que es la primera persona que lo hace escribirle por email cuando llegas al lugar de tu destino o un lugar nuevo para ti. <laughs> what will be your two greatest concerns about living abroad? Ya lo discutimos. Uh, what is the thing you would enjoy the most about living abroad? Ya Adela nos tell us something about that, okay? So basically, that, I just want you to discuss about that. Today is going to be speaking. I told you that, right? Speaking, speaking, and speaking. That's what I need. Now you like express yourself, all right? So let me choose right now. How many we are? We're 11, right? Because we, I, I do not count. So let me check it out. I'm going to, how many groups do I have to do? Six, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. There you go. So let me create it. But I'm going to decide who's going to go with. Okay, Adelita, you're going to go with Annie. All right. Okay. Carlitos, you're going to go with uh, 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 Maria Colindres. Okay, Eduardo, you're going to go with, uh, 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 um, with Patty. Okay, <laughs> Helen, you're gonna go with uh, Neftali. And uh, Karen, you're gonna go with Ronald and Wendy. There you go. So just accept the invitation and start talking about those questions, okay? There you go. Please accept the invitation. There you go. <laughs> Carlitos, accept the invitation. Carlitos. I, Living. I, I would like to live in, in Spain. 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 Oh, why? Um, because I like uh, the the weather okay the, yeah. I, I like the the people okay uh, yeah, I like um, I like the uh, different team uh, okay. from Spain what about you, like you Adela what about uh, <laughs> I like <laughs> I like to live in uh, Switzerland. 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 Oh, Switzerland. Okay. okay. Why? <laughs> uh, I like to know uh, the Alpes. Oh, really? Like where Heidi lives? 
Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> you're gonna meet Heidi and the grandpa. Ah, very good. <laughs> okay. And Pedro as well. <laughs> Just uh, yes. Very it's good. Better. That's good, guys. Peter. Continue, okay? Let me double check the other okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. In my case, uh, I will be like living in Europe, maybe in Spain, because I love football and I, I, I want to see the, the games okay. in Europe. Yes. You are um, like the, 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 the sports or yes. soccer? Every kind of sport, but the most that I, I like is soccer. Real, okay, the Barca. next question is... How do you say? Sorry? Real Madrid or Barca? Oh, Barca. Ash. All the time. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Continue talking, okay? Very good. Excellent job. Perfect. Okay. Okay, what country will you you not Is the meaning of browse? Uh, that the the teacher okay. say is like is something like a uh, travel to to another country. Yes, abroad, el exterior. Mm -hmm. That's what it means, abroad. abroad. Out of your country. Abroad. Mm -hmm. abroad. You can Google it, Mr. Ah, Roberto. Yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you don't okay, have a beer uh, today. No. <gasps> oh my God, I haven't noticed. Umberto, what happened <laughs> with your mustache? <laughs> I cut my mustache the last week. What? Are you serious? Oh my yes. god, the teacher is blind. You know what? I haven't seen that. You know, I wasn't paying attention. You know what would happen? Maybe because you were wearing like uh, your hat all the time. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. And I think that makes it like a shadow in front of your face. Oh my God, ah, I haven't. That's why done. you you don't. Yeah, why you did that? You look like Mr. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Salvador Dali. So what happened? I'm change my For style. Oh mm -hmm. no, from now on, I will miss that mustache. <laughs> I'm just using you. Okay, guys, continue. Okay, forget about Ronald's mustache. <laughs> Let's join back to the road. Okay, go ahead, guys. <laughs> Let me double check the other guys, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher.
Okay, we have Adela and we have Anita. Okay, let's wait for the rest of the guys. Okay. Okay. Hey, how was uh, the the exercise with Anita, Adela? How was it? Was it interesting? Good. With yes. Anita, yeah. Did you did you have something in common? I don't know. Uh, not much. Not much. Because he has direct. Not much. He has direct, and I songs. I have songs. <laughs> Only voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's good. Hey, what about you, uh, Eduardo? How was your experience with Patty? Do you have something in common between you and her? I don't know. Besides, not much, but not much, right? It, okay. I don't know. But it was good to know more about her because she, I knew something new about her. Yeah, so exactly. You get to know each other a little bit much better, very right? Good exercise. Very good. Thank yeah. you. What about you, Carlitos? Who do you work with? We work with Maria Colindres. Maria Colindres, okay. How was your experience um, with her? Yeah. It was very, very interesting. And, and and why? And tell us, tell us everything. <laughs> talk, talk with her. <laughs> <laughs> very good, yeah. She's a shy girl, <laughs> right? Teacher. But not much. Uh -huh. Hey, let me ask you do you have something <laughs> in common? Yes, I, I wouldn't like to live in Mexico, teacher. <laughs> you would like to live in Mexico? What about her? No. Does she uh, want also. to live in Mexico? No, yes, she also? No, no. No? We, we wouldn't like. Uh, we wouldn't. You wouldn't like to live. Okay. And which is the place that you would love like to live? Live in Mexico. What about live? Which one you would like to live? Uh, she told me she like she like to live in Canada. Canada, also okay. And what about you? Um, I would like to live in France. In France, woohoo! I love you. Very good. That's what. That's why you're learning English. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, because you can speak English. Yeah, of course. <laughs> then I will teach you French. Okay. <laughs> yeah yeah you had to learn the two languages so you can like speak there because you need to speak your french a lot yeah hey but that's good why you would like to live in france in france sorry france is in english france is french um, oops yes i i would like because the custom the custom um, oh, okay the custom because of the food because right because i think Yes, they have a lot of uh, a good food. Yes, but it's really expensive, my man. You cannot imagine. And you know what? In France, it's, it's more expensive the water, the, the water than the glass of wine, you know? It is more expensive. Yes, yes, I can let you know that. So I, family uh, drinks more wine than like a lemonade, for example, or, or chata or something like that. I'm just telling you, so you need to think about that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's really interesting. I'm gonna share right now with you for the five minutes that we have. I'm gonna share right now with you uh, through the chat some customs from different countries. And I want your opinion about those customs. And also if you, even though you do not live in that place or in that country, but maybe you already put in practice some of these concerns and you didn't know. So let me send it to you right now. Just allow me one minute. There you go. I sent it to you guys. You receive it? Yep. Yes, did you receive it? Yeah? Or no? Not yet. Now? Yeah. Ah, yes. yes. Right now. Yes, Very yes. good. Okay, cool. So guys, I'm sharing right now with you some customs that, that from different countries. We do have Canada. Yes. 
We do have also um, Indonesia, Thailand, Brazil, South Korea, Egypt, France, okay, got a little for you, <laughs> and Nigeria. Okay, so uh, Umberto, because you want to travel to uh, Canada, can you please read for me one of the customs there? The custom there? What that it says? Give you the customs. Yes, from Canada. Read it for me, please. Just Canada. Do you have it there? Canada. Is the last um, image that I sent. The, the related that, ah, okay. If you are invited for a meal, you should arrive on time, not early or late. Mm -hmm. You see, if this is really important. If, for example, <laughs> we are not the person that arrives o'clock mm -hmm. or we arrive like 10 or five minutes <laughs> earlier, no way, guys. If they said, hey, dinner is going to be at seven, you got to be at seven. Like, cling, cling, right? You cannot be early or you cannot be late. That is uh, considered like <clears throat> uh, bad behavior. Hey, guys, do you put in practice this? When somebody invites you to a dinner or when you have to go to the movies, for example, or you got to be like um, in a meeting for some reason, uh, in this case, a meal, do you try to be on time or you all the time yeah. you be late? Yes. I yes. tell me the truth. Come on. No. no. Okay. I believe you. I lie. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> okay. Karen, what about you? Indonesia. <laughs> Can you read it for me, Indonesia? Hey, never point to anything with your foot. Okay, so you better be careful. Never point your, like this, you, 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 you this, see this, right? But you cannot do this with your foot. So that consider bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ah, but we don't do that here, right, in El Salvador, right? We don't put anything with your with your foot. No, right, with your finger, yes, right? But not with the foot. Okay. And <laughs> Patty, can you please read for me Thailand? Okay. Mute. Patty, Patty you're in mute. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Is Thailand. Yes. Um, never touch anyone special and child on the hill. Yeah, you you can never touch anyone, especially a child, a kid, right? On the head. Hey guys, this, this is different, right? Because here in El Salvador, mm -hmm. if we see a baby, right? A baby that is cute, or yeah. if we if we have a friend that they already yes. have a children, you touch them, right? Hey buddy, oh hi, how are you? You see, in, in here is common, right? Because El Salvador, we are really lovely people. But in Thailand, you cannot do that. Can you imagine? That's weird, right? Especially if you love kids. That would be really weird. So for me, it's going to be hard. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's going to be hard. Brazil. It's reasonable. It is, yeah, what do you think, Eduardo? Is it reasonable? Yeah. Why? Especially with child. Yeah, you need to be they careful, right? The space. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but you have to be lovely with them. <laughs> yeah, but you see, like we have to. Puppies, right? Like the puppies, Wendy. Like the puppies, come on. Don't compare a child with a puppy. <laughs> 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 I'm just teasing you. Okay, now that you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? Uh, Karen, right? Okay, um, Eduardo, now that you already s uh, spoken, uh, read for me Brazil, please. Brazil, mm -hmm. open any gift in front of the person who gave it to you. You see? So you cannot open a gift in front of the person. What do you think about that, guys? This is weird. You need to open the, the gift in front of the person. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to open it. If you don't open it, that will be like disrespectful. It's like, it's like here, right? It's like the, ah, uh, yeah, it's like the baby showers. Yeah, exactly, time. exactly. Mm -hmm, very good. And do you do that, guys, when somebody give you a gift? 
Uh, do you open it in front of the person who gave it to you? Or no? I don't like because if the gift is, is not good, it, it's difficult to, to do a good face, a poker face. Okay, <laughs> a poker face. Okay, come on. Okay, at least this Mr. Umberto is sincere. And last but not least, Carlitos, you said about France. So, can you please read for me, Franz? Okay. When eating out, keep both hands on or above the table. Okay, that means that so here in El Salvador, we put the hands on the table, right? And that is bad custom. You need to put it under the table. Okay? Can you imagine that? No way. That is too much. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we have finished. Okay? <sighs> okay, <clears throat> this was our last class, and uh, I'm so happy to have you as the students. We have been a really good family and friends. I don't know if we're going to keep on uh, together. I don't have any idea about that. That depends on the administration. But, um, well, if you're going to be with another teacher, that would be fantastic. But do me a favor, guys. Please take care about yourself obedient, be safe, because I want to see you in January, okay? Please take care and take care of your family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your passion okay. to, to teach us. He's a very, very uh, a good teacher. Thank you for Thank you so much, with, Carlitos, uh, for your words. For I'm trying to do my best, but also you put yeah. your heart. It's like 80-20, okay? <laughs> I will continue sending you information <laughs> for you to improve, okay? Because uh, teacher words, uh, work never ends, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. A big Thank hand. You, A lot of kisses. Say hi Thank to you your so family much. and friends. Say hi nice. to, Thank you. And say Merry hi Christmas. to Mr. Jazz, okay? The little puppy. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Love you all. Bye-bye. Love you all. Happy. Bye.